Hi, I'm Dave May, and I'm going to be going through the Al Gore installation process. So here I have my Al Gore install files. Go ahead and launch setup.exe. This would launch automatically if you were to put a disk into the drive, or you know, would have a. Uh, th this would be what is called after extraction if you launched it downloaded executable. What we can do once we're in this dialog is we can choose to either install products, create deployments for you know if we're an IT department sending out like a network install uh, we can install tools and utilities which would be uh, the flex license manager uh, or we can read the documentation so there is an installation guide in here and there's readme in here as well uh, but we're going to go ahead and skip that and go straight to install products next this dialog should show up so once it does I'm going to go ahead and choose I accept to accept the Autodesk license agreement and you can certainly read through this if you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Go ahead and enter your name, organization, serial number, and product key. Once you have all this filled out, you can go ahead and click Next. Then we get to this screen uh, where we can begin the installation. Now it's important to note that if you're installing uh, as part of a floating license, meaning you're installing on your machine but you're going to be pointing to a, a, a license on a network server somewhere, you're going to have to specify that in this step. So by default it's looking for a typical standalone installation. If we want to use a floating installation, we're going to have to click configure right here, choose a network license, choose either a single server, distributed or redundant, and then go ahead and enter your server name in here. Once you click Next, you can select the installation type. You can either choose a typical or custom install. If you do custom, you can choose to leave out certain things. I recommend just doing typical and installing all of the NCAD plugins. Uh, they take up a very small amount of space. And uh, if you do happen to have those other CAD systems on your machine, you'll be glad you installed them. Now when I click next to go on to the third section here, I'm on page two of four. Page three contains some other information that could be important to us. Here on page three, it's asking if I want to include the service pack. This is an important thing to note. I personally am installing on a 64-bit system, but notice the service pack it finds is for 32-bit, right? If I choose to include this service pack, since it's the 32-bit service pack, it will not work, right? So. Instead, what you want to do is actually just say, do not include service pack, and then uh, you can download that service pack off Autodesk.com in 64-bit, and you'll be good to go. If you have 32-bit, it's fine installing the service pack, so don't worry about it, because it will look for the 32-bit one. Um, it's just for 64-bit installations, you cannot let the software automatically find that service pack. Now we're going to move to page 4 for the final part of the configuration. And the final part of our configuration is essentially just a dialog telling us that this is complete and we're ready to click configuration complete down below and proceed to the installation. At this point I can go ahead and click install and it's warning me that my particular drive is not empty. If yours is empty you will not see this. If you've had it installed at any point before you will get a message like this and I'm going to say yes I do want to install here. During the installation process, you may come across installation utilities for certain products you have installed, such as Mechanical Desktop, like I have here. Uh, this one particularly is just asking me if I want more instructions. I'm going to say no to that, and it's going to continue on the installation. Once the installation is finished, you're going to get an installation complete dialog. Uh, hopefully it says, Autodesk Algor Simulation Professional 2011 succeeded. Uh, by default, it's going to pop up the README, which is always good to go through before you launch the software. But if you'd like, you can uncheck that. And basically, once you click Finish, your installation should be completed.